Hello, Jammers. Today we're doing something a little different. We're going to be using ChatGPT and Dolly 3 to come up with a story that we will turn into a fun little comic strip. The idea is to use ChatGPT to prompt for a 12 scene story that we will then use to generate the individual panels for our comic. Then we'll take those panels and clean them up in Photoshop before adding dialog boxes and creating the final layout for our comic. Without further ado, let's start designing. Now, when creating a story, there's an important thing we need to keep in mind for image generation down the line. After spending some time playing around with character design, it's clear that using Dolly to create consistent characters is a little tough. The more generations you try to create, the more likely you are to get more differences for the same character. So for our story scene prompts, I decided to go with a more scenery focused approach with little to no characters. Our story is going to be about an old man sitting on the docks with his grandson as he tells him a wise story. The emphasis here is on the dialogue and lessons in it rather than the characters. Using that as a basis, I told ChatGPT to come up with both the scenes and the dialogue for each panel. And here is the result of that prompt. 12 panels, each with a description of the scene, as well as the dialogue for each panel. Next up, we need to start prompting for the images for each panel. Now we do want a consistent art style across all panels so that our final comic strip looks good. In order to do this, I asked ChatGPT to consider JD, a fictional artist whose art style is a blend of hand-drawn doodle art and comic book art. I also listed JD's artistic influence and a specific color palette that JD likes to use to make sure we get similar results for each panel. I then asked Dolly3 to generate the first panel of our story from above in the style of JD. Here's the first panel as generated by the prompt. Not too bad if I say so myself. Now, there's always the chance of artifacts in our designs, like this little drawing over here, but we can easily take care of that later in Photoshop. I then used the same process to generate the rest of my panels. In some cases, they turned out perfectly from the get-go. In other cases, not so much. But after spending some time generating and regenerating, we finally have 12 panels that are ready for dialogue boxes and final touches. Now in Photoshop, I want to start by cleaning up some of these images. The first thing I want to do is remove artifacts, and I can easily do that in Photoshop by selecting the area that I want to adjust. In this case, the area that has this drawing. And then using the generative fill tool, with an empty prompt to replace this area. And there you go. No more doodle on the sign here. If we're satisfied with the result, we can select both layers and merge them together by using Control E. Now the second thing I wanna do is make some space for the dialog boxes. And in order to do so, I'll need to increase the canvas size by going into image canvas size and then just bumping up the height here. Let's add 100 pixels to it. Once that's added, let's fill in this space with the rest of the image. We can use the generative fill tool again to do that for us. We'll keep the prompt empty and hit generate. And there you go. We have the empty space filled in and ready to go. I will go through the rest of the panels and clean them up and make space where necessary. I'll give you a couple shots of what that looks like, but I won't bore you with all 12 panels for this one.
After going through the rest of the panels and looking back at this one, I realized that this welcome is horribly misspelled. We're missing an L and we have an extra M in here. Now there are two things we can do in this case. One, we can act like this isn't an issue and ignore it. Or two, we can try to fix it. Let's try to see if we can use the generative fill tool to fix this. I think we can make it work. Our panels are now ready to be laid out for our final comic book. I will now add them all to one document and place them in our final layout. Okay, now that we have our panels all laid out, I'm going to start adding in the dialogue boxes and text to each of the panels. All right, after adding in dialogue and text bubbles to our panels, our comic strip is now complete. Let's take a look at our final product page by page.
Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments below what kind of comics you've been making using Dolly 3. It's been Jam Design, and I'll see you in the next one.